Hi everyone, we have prepared a series of episodes for you about meetings. We have meetings on a daily basis and they are very, very important to all of us, no matter whether you are a project manager or a developer. I'm sure project man managers love meetings more than developers, but anyway, um, we have to know how to handle them. In this series of episodes, uh, we are going to share with you information on how to organize a meeting, what to say during the meeting, what to do before the meeting and after the meeting. But of course, it's all going to be language oriented. So we're going to teach you some really cool and useful phrases that you can use during the meeting. Can we schedule a meeting for later today? How many times have you heard this phrase? Probably a lot because you have meetings on daily basis. When we talk about a meeting, what can we say? First of all, of course, we schedule a meeting. This is when we want to know, or this is when we want to tell a precise time of the meeting. You can also say reschedule a meeting, right? If you already scheduled it and now you can't make it, so you want to have it another time. You can call a meeting. For example, I'm the boss. I would like to call a meeting to inform my team about some important event that is going to happen or happened, right? So I'm calling a meeting. You can also host a meeting, right? If you're hosting a meeting, it means that you are organizing a meeting. So hosting a meeting would be similar to organizing a meeting. An interesting phrase that I came across recently, it's pushing back the meeting or push the meeting. Uh, what do you think it may mean? It means to move the meeting till later, to reschedule till later. So when you say, can we push the meeting back to two hours? It means that you want to have it two hours later. So instead of saying, can we have meeting two hours later? You can say, let's push it back. Or you can specify a certain time. So you can say something like, let's push the meeting uh, to three o'clock. That's very modern way of saying, and I'm sure that if you come across this phrase the first time, you may be a little bit confused. So don't be confused because you know that it means reschedule for later. You have called a meeting and now you're waiting for all the participants to get together so that you can start the meeting. So what happens during this time? I can say that in English speaking culture, people have small talk. Small talk is very natural and very important because when you're sitting there waiting for people to get together, you can be just sitting there playing with your phone, looking down or looking away. You talk to people. It's not very common and natural for our culture, I can say. Frankly, I was surprised that in uh, our neighboring countries like Romania, it's very common to have small talk and it's very natural. But in our culture, this is not very natural. That We feel awkward when we have to talk to people about things that are random or things that we don't know about. However, if this is English speaking meeting, it should be one of the key things. Uh, uh, so you have a small talk. Being able to have a small talk, this is one of the soft skills that every IT professional should learn. We will prepare a set of episodes uh, for you to learn the important and key things of a small talk. But just to give you a quick tip here, if you wanna have a small talk and you don't know what to talk about, look around. You can find what to speak about around your setting. For example, you're looking around and you see a very beautiful chair and uh, you can start talking about this chair and uh, this is how you develop a conversation into something else. The easiest way to start a small talk is to look around and start talking about interesting things that you see in your surroundings.